Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be speaking on the topic of nursing leadership and we have invited a specialist in the field to join our panel today. We have Miss Naomi here. Naomi is well known for her leadership skills in this house. She has been recognized to dominate and to influence all the members around her. She has proven in the last 11 months that she can include all her team members in all the activities she does. So she'll be answering a few things for us today. All right, so let's get started. So what is nursing leadership? Leadership is defined as the ability to influence others with the skills and knowledge acquired in work environment and interpersonal skills, and whilst using this to inspire others to accomplish common goals. Um, and that's been written in our door story 2017. I might not include all the um, inside text referencing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in um, the description below. If not, it's going to be found in the PowerPoint as well. Now, a few qualities of a nursing leader highlighted by Bowers and Goodyear is empathy and excellence in listening. Nurses practice empathy with integrity to empower others. Now, according to Hughes, they are critical thinkers as well. They're driven by excellence in mentoring others. This helps promote continuous um, development as well so that people around them would improve their knowledge skill set to enhance the quality of patient care. And is it really important to have nursing leadership in our work environment? I think I'm going to be passing this one over to our expert over here. So Naomi, what are your thoughts on the topic? And do you think it is important? Oh, and I can see you've expressed it here. Look, and it's interesting that you say yes, and I completely agree with you. Now, there are many challenges we face in our everyday clinical practice. Each of them is very unique, and as such, the response would differ. And this requires comprehensive understanding of each different circumstance. So it is a topic that is very important for us to cover. As nurses, I feel that we are all leaders and we are born natural leaders. I mean, let's go back to the beginning where we defined leadership. It's the ability to influence others. As leaders, we model our behavior. Our daily interactions stem from our work ethics and they are an inspiration to our colleagues. This also extends to our students and our learning losses. We exemplify in delivering quality patient care. Latif 2017 says that too. And leadership skills is essential in nursing practice. Many skills and knowledge are learned through modeling of behavior. And this is not something we can learn in the classroom setting. The guidance of nursing leaders is integral to the teaching and understanding in the discipline of nursing. Sullivan 2010 highlights this. We are also amazing leaders to our patients. Nursing care plans that have been followed through by our patients show that they have followed our lead. And this is a prime example. And this can only be done built on the trust the patients have for us. They trust that we have the best interests at heart and that we have a thorough understanding of their health to advise of best treatment. They're encouraged to become a better version of themselves because of us, because of nursing leaders. And this is true leadership, where our learning is demonstrated in our work. We are creating better health outcomes for our patients. And this is why exactly leadership is important in our workspace. We need nurses to educate, to guide patients to make, make informed decisions for their health. And most importantly, we need nursing leaders to share patient perspective as well. Patients tend to spend more time with nurses historically, according to Howley. And they reveal more information regarding their health to nurses as well. And I find that the healthcare system is relying more and more on nurses now compared to before. And that has been highlighted in Berkeley 2017. Look, and part of the reason why patients trust more nurses now is also the continuity of care nurses provide for the patient. That aside, nurses tend to provide a lot of active listening. Now, this demonstrates how much influence we have as a nursing leader to our patients, as active listening is one of the traits of a good leader. So nursing leadership was shown by Melina and Gallo 2020 to have improved patient quality of care and reduce medical errors as well. 
with continuous growth in mind also comes an increasing rate of staff retention. Now, this benefits the clinical workplace as a whole. And that is just the most amazing thing. As they say, people do not leave jobs, but they do leave crappy leaders. What do you think, Naomi? 100%, I think that's right. And I would also like to add that leadership comes in all forms. Every single nurse can be a leader, even a student nurse. There is no limit to who can influence you. There will always be different things that you take from each person you learn from, each leader into your career path. This may also be different leadership styles. Now, one style I have always enjoyed learning from has been the democratic leadership style. Democratic leadership involves other team members that are participating in decision making through open communication, according to Stefan et al. 2017. Now, each individual is given responsibilities and then they're accountable to providing feedback as well. Now, this allows for growth and it helps facilitate learning from everyone. The knowledge that is shared amongst the team increases as everyone contributes. The leader listens to the team members and then reflects on the needs and makes changes accordingly. This also fosters the team to feel involved and it includes this, you know, in the structure and procedure and it makes all the team members feel valued. Their expertise is essential in the work environment. Another positive thing from the democratic leadership is that it allows for more effective problem solving. With more minds working towards an issue or a patient, the number of possible um, solutions increase. This leadership style is most suited though when there is a team of ex experienced staff in place. It may not work very well when emergencies or immediate action is required from the leader to bring um, decisions forward, but it definitely pays off when you have a team that is experienced that understand some of the processes already. So in a conclusion, I believe the best nursing leaders are the ones to incorporate a few leadership styles, you know, for all the different situations that we may come across in our workspace. They will guide you while sharing the journey. Um, they'll share the experiences with you that they have made, you know, made them to become a better nurse. They also share the changes that have made, you know, from their learnings. More importantly, it's all about inspiring, motivating, and enabling others to becoming the best self. True successful leaders is one that is ready to change and evolve. They're also willing to grow and learn as the nursing industry experiences change. We're all very unique and powerful leaders in our own way. So do not ever stop inspiring. Nursing leadership is very important. How important? Is it important to you? All right. Thank you for watching and we hope this has inspired you to become a better nurse.